Hey guys, it's not Halloween yet, but I got something scary to show you. What you guys see here is a little monster we call inadequate or incomplete penetration, or IP for short. So what happened on this route, coming off the tack, everything went really good, and then the gap started to close up a little bit, and you see this little droplet of metal here. It started getting really cold, way too tight of a gap right here, and then we stopped and turned up the machine. Everything went good for a little bit longer, and then right here, it quit penetrating altogether, and over here, it started penetrating again. It's a little bit flat, kind of a rough tie-in, and then back onto the tack where everything's good. So these things happen when you're a welder. You'll make mistakes, you'll get IP sometimes, and I'm gonna show you a really easy way to fix it. There's four steps. First, we're going to cut it, then we're gonna clean it, then we're gonna weld it, and then we're gonna check it and make sure everything's good. Step one, we're gonna use a cutoff wheel to cut it. A cutoff wheel is really dangerous. They're very thin. And if you ever grind with them on their side, they'll flex and they'll break. And while we're cutting, we wanna make sure we don't twist the grinder sideways at all or else that will break the cutoff wheel as well. Be really careful with the cutoff wheel. It's really important that we stay right in the center of the weld. It's easy to get off to one side of the root or the other. Uh, if we do that, then we'll end up laying a root in right next to our root instead of through it. And that'll give us two roots side by side. All right, we got our cutting wheel on. Now we're gonna grind this guy out. Okay, now we got it cut. So we have a lot of really nasty stuff right up here in the bevels. We have to clean all that out of there and we need to get our landings back to the right size. Since there was a root and a bunch of metal put in there, now our landings are gonna be way too big. We're gonna take a grinding wheel and we're just gonna clean up the edges of this bevel so that we have a clean bevel and the right size of landing. So to clean this, we're going to switch from the cutoff wheel to the eighth inch wheel because the cutoff wheel, it's too dangerous for us to get in there and work this wheel around in here with the cutoff wheel. So when I start grinding, I'm gonna be really careful not to go too thin. I have to keep in mind that I now have an eighth inch gap because when I cut it with an eighth inch cutting wheel, it left me an eighth inch gap. So I'm gonna want a pretty good size landing. So I'm just gonna clean up the edges of the bevel a little bit and I'm gonna be really conservative with my grinding. Let's grind it. Now that we're done with step two, on to step three, which is weld it. On our ESOB ES300i, I like to set it to 90 amps for the root repair. Make sure that we're on the 6010 setting. That's gonna be a lot more crisp than the other settings. And it's gonna make sure that we get all the way through and get good penetration and seal up that root on the root repair. To make this repair, I'm gonna use an eighth inch 6010. I'm gonna start out with a really direct angle. I wanna make sure I get through right away. And then if it gets a big keyhole, I'm gonna lay that angle back and pick up speed. Okay, we've finished step three, which is weld it, and we're on to step four, which is check it. If you can't see the root, it's really hard to tell if the root's good. So we're gonna buff it off with a wire wheel. We're gonna take a good look at that root and see how that repair went. The repair's a little bit fat, but we got the job done, and it's all tied in and looks good all the way up until this tack. All right, so that's how you do a root repair. Let us know in the comments if this was helpful and what was the worst repair you ever had to do. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.